Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch. Today's episode is episode 98. 98. Hey, if you want to hear something special for episode 100, please let me know. I'm trying to think of something that I can do specifically for episode 100. I have a few ideas up my sleeve, and I might want to get cracking onto those things <laughs> if I kind of want to get them done. But if not, we'll just keep trekking right along. Tonight's episode is brought to you by good friends over at Combat Flip Flops. Head on over to CombatFlipFlops.com. Every once in a while, I like to go on to websites that I haven't been on in a little bit and just check out and see if anything new is going on over there. And I was just perusing their website this morning, actually, looking at possibly adding uh, some more sandals into my repertoire, if you will, of footwear. And uh, you should also head on over there and see what they have for your foot or feet or body. They have shirts. They have jewelry. They have lots of good stuff over there. They're a veteran-owned apparel company, and they have a powerful mission, and that is to create peaceful, forward-thinking opportunities for self-determined entrepreneurs affected by conflict. Simply, this means helping educate Afghan women and girls, and it also means helping remove unexploded landmines and other ordnance in Laos, and it also means supporting the members and families of the special operations community because Combat Flip Flops is flipping the view on how wars are won Business, not bullets. And now, a tale of honor. William H. Thompson was born on the 16th of August, 1927, in Brooklyn, New York. At a young age, William had dropped out of school and was found sleeping in a park one evening and was brought to a homeless shelter by a local minister. He remained at the New York home for homeless boys until the age of 18 and then enlisted in the U.S. Army two months later. William's first duty station was in Alaska and was honorably discharged a year and a half later. In January of 1948, William re-enlisted in the Army because he had found the transition back to civilian life a little too difficult, and this time he was assigned to the 6th Infantry Division. This division was on occupation duty in South Korea, and when they returned to the U.S., William was reassigned to the 24th Infantry Regiment, 25th Infantry Division, which was on occupation duty of post-World War II Japan. In 1948, the U.S. Armed Forces were desegregated by Executive Order 9981, and yet the 24th Infantry Regiment remained predominantly African American. William enjoyed his time in the Army and was an effective soldier. At the beginning of the Korean War, William was with M Company, 3rd Battalion, and it was his actions during the Battle of Pusan Perimeter that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, P.F.C. Thompson distinguished himself by conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty in action against the enemy. While his platoon was reorganizing under cover of darkness, fanatical enemy forces in overwhelming strength launched a surprise attack on the unit. P.F.C. Thompson set up his machine gun in the path of the onslaught and swept the enemy with withering fire, pinning them down momentarily, thus permitting the remainder of his platoon to withdraw to a more tenable position. Although hit repeatedly by grenade fragments and small arms fire, he resisted all efforts of his comrades to induce him to withdraw, steadfastly remained at his machine gun and continued to deliver deadly, accurate fire until mortally wounded by an enemy grenade. P.F.C. Thompson's dauntless courage and gallant self-sacrifice reflect the highest credit on himself and uphold the esteemed traditions of military service. Several days later, M Company retook the area of the attack and found that William had killed a large number of North Koreans as part of his last stand. Initially, his actions were overlooked. The poor performance of the regiment was instead focused on since they were known for having panicking soldiers that would flee from combat. William's battalion commander refused to submit a recommendation until five months after the action, which he then changed his mind and attempted to locate witnesses personally. Even though the 24th Infantry Regiment would be disbanded, William's actions saw his Silver Star upgraded to the Medal of Honor, which was presented to his mother on the 21st of June, 1951, by the General of the Army, Omar Bradley. William Henry Thompson, 
is buried in the Long Island National Cemetery in East Farmingdale, New York, Section DSS, Site 19. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. And if you like this podcast, please be sure to leave a nice review, a good rating, and tell a friend. You know what? Don't tell a friend. Tell all of your friends. I think that's more appropriate. You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, which you can also listen to full episodes via the Twitter links. And you can also see more information at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening.